Um, I really like, uh, we're really all close together. We bond really well in practice and outside. We're really close outside of the court too. Um, obviously, you know, graduation always takes players away. So who are some of the guys that are now going to have to fill in some of those roles this season? Um, Owen Ritchie, he had some varsity minutes last year, but he'll really be big this year. Um, Carver Miller should come up and be really big. Uh, Carter Savoy. Um, Max Minter, he's a returning varsity player. He'll be really good for us, too. Obviously, last year was Coach Dernell's first year leading you guys. Now that they're, you have a level of familiarity, both personally and in terms of offense, defense, schematics like that, how do you how do you uh, take the next step knowing that, all right, you, you don't have to get used to each other. You guys know each other a little bit. They can take the next step. How do you, how do you take it and build on it? Yeah, it's a lot easier. I uh, Like, when I hear him say something, I can really listen to him, and I know, like, where he's coming from, and I know how he uh, like jokes around, or if he's not joking around, and I can take him serious when we need to. When you take a look at this team, like what's it going to take for you guys to compete for a Northeast State title? Um, a lot of defense this year, a lot of uh, transition defense and transition offense. Um, always be uh, like, always be in the grind to want to be better, and always work 100% every practice and game. As one of the leaders for this night's team, what's the message to some of those guys filling in bigger roles on you know Friday night and Saturday night in the Northeast State? That, that, what are some of the things you have to tell them to get them ready for the level of varsity basketball that you need them to play? Uh, the biggest thing is uh, making sure everybody's confidence is up and that nobody's feeling left out. Uh, um, and uh, just keeping everybody uh, sharp in the gym, shooting all the time, and uh, keeping their skills up. Uh, how do you build off um, the foundation that you laid in week, uh, year one, I should say, with these guys to take it further in year two? Well, you said it. We graduated a great group of five seniors, four starters, that did a really nice job uh, starting out our program the right way with the new philosophies we want to input and put in. So uh, we're super excited for our group this year. We have a good core. Uh, now it's finding the guys who are going to gel around them, and we think there's seven or eight guys that could play, but they're going to be battling in the preseason for just a few spots, so preseason will be really competitive. Next is the guys, where are the strengths of this team, and who are some of the guys you're looking at to step in the big role? Yeah, uh, we'll be a lot faster. Uh, we want to get out and transition and run, and we'll be better defensively. I think we'll be tougher, more versatile. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be able to get out and trap people and press people, so we're excited to use our length that we have and athleticism to hopefully make people uncomfortable. You look at the inning eight and um, you're in and you're out a good basketball conference. Teams do what they do well. Uh, so how do you compete for a conference title when it's all said and done? See your name up there competing. Well, you, you said it. We got to do what we do well, right? And hopefully we're able to wear teams out. We want that to be our identity. So if we're going to compete for an NEA title, that's what we got to do. We got to wear people out on both ends of the floor. Uh, for you, as a first year head coach, as a young guy, like what did you learn? last year in the first time around. I imagine it's an eye-opening experience uh, anytime you get someone for the first time. Yeah, uh, I learned that I have a lot to learn, <laughs> right? Uh, every day we're learning, trying to get better, uh, wanting to continue to impact, build the youth program, try and get a fire uh, in East Noble basketball, how it was uh, back in the 90s where they were winning sectionals. So we're trying to get back to that, get kids excited about basketball. Uh, could not have asked for a better job out of college. Uh, being around the game I love every single day, being around a great group of kids. Uh, my staff's awesome. The staff at the high school is awesome. The community has been super supportive. Uh, so couldn't have asked for a better job out of high or out of college. Excuse me. Uh, really excited for what we're building. Uh, final question: what's, what's the biggest key, the biggest X factor for East Noble this year? Uh, us being able to put the ball in the basket consistently in the half court. I think if we're able to do that, uh, we're going to get to a level we didn't think we could get to. Uh, so just being able to execute how we want to, I think will be a big key for us. 